Hello everybody, this is a really unique species. This is called Indian Pipe. Now it's a saprophytic, which means it grows on the sap or the uh, roots of other plants. This is a saprophytic plant, very beautiful plant, and it's got really interesting um, petals on it because these do not have any chlorophyll in them and they don't need it because since they're parasitic, they grow on the roots of other plants, they're using the energy of the other plant that it makes from photosynthesis to grow. It grows on the roots of trees and lots of forests in our area. Now this is warm weather, we're still in late August and it's just a beautiful time of year to see this. If you see it, please keep it alive in its native habitat and just leave it alone. It's a really unique species that needs to be conserved, but it is beautiful. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna reach over here, we're gonna see something different. This is uh, something that was found on the trail right beside this uh, plant here. This is actually called blue jay feather. So if you look here, it's got an edge, the leading edge of the feather, it's got kind of a serrated black and blue streak across it. The tip of it's white, and you know that was from a blue jay if you see that kind of feather. The back edge here obviously is, is solid black, so it's very unique. You see a lot of really neat things on the trail this time of year, so please get outside and explore nature, have fun. Look for these saprophytic plants. It's really a, a short growing season for these, maybe less than three weeks. You'll see these in a, a year. So get out there and check out and see if you can see these saprophytic uh, beautiful plants. So once again, some people call them Dutchman's pipe. I call them Indian pipe. This is Indian pipe. Saprophytic plants in the forest, beautiful. 